So how busted is my bracket? Not too bad. So before the first round of the playoffs, I thought I'm not going to, I'm not going to give my predictions because then all the reviews turn into a comment section of, oh, Shannon got all of his predictions wrong. But Yvonne talked me into doing a bracket. I'm glad I did because it, it honestly shows I'm probably too hard on teams that I cheer for, which is a known thing anyways. And, and so we'll take a look at what I predicted and how things turned out. I predicted that Vegas would win in six over Chicago. That, of course, ended up being in five. Uh, 73% of the channel voted for Vegas to win. 27% are Blackhawk fans or hate Vegas. That's that's basically how that's going to work. Um, or they were people who thought that what happened last year was San Jose. Ah, maybe that happens again. Nope, Vegas comes through. Uh, Colorado, I had winning in six. Again, I thought series were going to go longer than they did. Uh, I only had one series going seven. Of course, we had none go seven. Uh, the Islanders winning in six, though, and I do have... Uh, or the Islanders winning six. Uh, we'll get to the Islanders. Colorado winning in six, and I have them reaching the Stanley Cup Finals on my bracket. And I posted my bracket on Twitter this morning. I just posted it on Twitter so that people can go in and go, ah, oh, look where you got everything wrong. Nope, not this year. Uh, the favorites actually came through. And I went against the idea of, okay, I should just take underdogs because underdogs won everything last year. And I thought, no, that was last year. Every year is different. In some years, the favorites come out victorious. 85% of the channel felt Colorado was going to win. And like I said, I still have them going to the Stanley Cup Finals. If Dallas knocks them off, I don't mind them breaking my bracket. Because they already broke it. They already did. So I had Calgary winning in six over Dallas, and uh, nope, 69% uh, of the channel also had Calgary winning. So there's only 31% out there who voted that are saying, okay, well, I knew. 31%. And from last night, there's 89% of the channel that took Colorado to knock out Dallas. Uh, that was where the voting was before the game, and I wrote that on the board and made sure, all right, 89%, because, of course, that vote can change during the season. Oh, see, see what I did? Yeah, you change your vote. So... Um, yeah, Calgary, everybody felt was going to, and, and it made sense the way that they, they bullied out the Jets and the way that Dallas looked disinterested during the round robin and then the playoffs round one. Nope. Uh, I had, I had Vancouver knocking out St. Louis in six. I did. And, and it really, it came down to somebody in the West is, is going to be a, a surprise. Why not Vancouver? And I felt that, um, St. Louis was, was a good matchup for the Canucks in terms of it was one that I felt Vancouver could win. I think Vancouver would have knocked out Dallas as well. But St. Louis, 57% uh, of the channel took St. Louis to knock out uh, Vancouver in what was one of the closer votes on the channel. So a uh, West, not too shabby. The one that I got wrong is Dallas-Calgary because, again, I'm really hard on Dallas, and I admit it. I admit it, but when you look at their scoring being 26 during the regular season and all the, the dry spell scoring-wise and the fact that their top players hadn't been their top players in a while, uh, there you go. And for the record, I'm, I'm wearing one of the jerseys I got from, from, from Michael Buble because I, I thought, now nah, I'm not going to wear an NHL jersey in this one. I don't know, I don't know when I'm going to wear this jersey exactly, the San Antonio jersey, so might as well throw it on for this video. <clears throat> so it's just a little big for me. So I know Michael has no say in that. He just goes on tour and they give him whatever. It's a large. It's probably big on him too. Uh, so let's go to the East. In the East, I took Philadelphia in six. Because again, I think six games. Yeah, that, yeah six. I, I don't like to take five uh, in most cases because I, I don't think most series are going to go five. 77% uh, of the channel is taking Philadelphia in that series. So one of the more lopsided of the of the polls that were being taken before round one. Tampa Bay I had in five. I had them winning the cup. Again, you can go and look. I cannot retroactively change that bracket. You can't. You can't go in and change the bracket. After it's done, it's done. And you can't post your bracket after the playoffs have started at all. You are locked in. Um, so yeah, I had Tampa Bay and I have Tampa Bay winning the Stanley Cup in my bracket as well. 54% of the channel felt Columbus would do it back-to-back -back years. And I looked at it and I said, you know, odds are Tampa Bay is going to come through. It's very rare that the underdog comes through two years in a row. And oddly enough, it's Dallas that came to mind with that, where Dallas had been beaten by Edmonton one year, and then it just, yeah, Edmonton didn't own Dallas. Dallas was 
pretty PO'd after that and took took Edmonton out. So I, I kind of had that same feeling about Tampa. Like, well, they're not going to blow it again. The The idea that they're somehow choke artists just comes from last year. If you look at their playoff history, they're pretty good at getting out of the first round and getting maybe to a, a conference final. And they were in the finals in 2015, so it's not that long ago. Um, 63% of the channel felt Washington was going to win that series over the Islanders. I had the Islanders winning in seven. I felt the Islanders, the style of hockey they were playing against Florida is playoff hockey. It's old fashioned playoff hockey, but it's playoff hockey. And I, again, I, I, you know, went with my gut on that one. And where was I wrong? Where was I wrong in the East? I had Carolina winning in six over Boston. The only two series I got wrong in the first round were involving teams that I cheered for. That's it. The only two I got wrong. Uh, Carolina uh, didn't win that series, but 73% of the channel had Carolina winning that series. So the two I got wrong, I felt better in looking and saying, well, the channel, most people felt that uh, the, the underdogs were going to win that one too. So Boston comes out and wins it. If I'd gone with my favorites... Um, I would have been pretty close, to be honest, if I'd just gone with uh, with the teams I was cheering for. Obviously, minus here, um, and and here, definitely. But so yeah, it still would have been six out of eight. Anyways, I just I thought this would be fun to look at because I get asked a lot about you know well what what was Shannon's bracket and who was Shannon taking and um, so there you go. I I made sure I didn't post this until after round one because again. I think the conversation turns too much to well, he said so and so was going to win um, when I'm when I've posted the preview videos. So there you go. Definitely did better this year than last year. Last year was uh, was a minefield, but it was a minefield for everybody. We all got that wrong. All the favorites were out in first round to the point where the NHL said, "So if you need a second chance bracket, we've got this second chance bracket," which I didn't bother with because I was like I was so wrong in the first round. The only thing I got right last year was I had St. Louis going to the Stanley Cup Finals. And this year I picked St. Louis to lose in round one. So there you go. Uh, but uh, hopefully your brackets aren't broken. Hopefully you're doing pretty well. Hopefully you're part of the the, the, the hockey guy bracket on the NHL Bracket Challenge. And uh, I know we got a lot of people into it. And I want to congratulate people who've done well thus far. And thank people for participating. And I present the shout out board. So these are uh, patrons uh, that are at the shout out level so for $9 a month on Patreon and I've covered the board and what I've covered the board with is all of their names and then how long they've been patrons as well. So uh, since August 19th of this year, Michael Werner Smith, that's four days ago, there you go, you're in, uh, Fabio Tintaneglia, July 3rd, 2019, uh, Corey. May 1st, 2019. Cool enough not to need a last name. I respect that. So, again, uh, thank you very much for all your support for those who are patrons. Uh, and thank you to all of the subscribers, all of the likes, all of the comments that have helped push this channel over 158,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all of that. And yes, this is now a thing. Now that I'm down to not needing as many boards as I, I, I have, I will now, this is my shout out level board and i may very well make other patreon themed boards as well and uh, then mess around with it at my own leisure and uh, have some fun with it so thank you guys so much for all of your support and hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video i will talk to you guys again soon